Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Stampy's Lovely World App by App. This is a series where we're going to be showing you guys how to build the ep uh, everything from each episode individually. Today, in this episode, I'm going to be joined by Charles. He is currently muted because he's watching some YouTube, which is all good. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, so as uh, you can see with my map on the offhand, I'm going to quickly set my world spawn to here in case I haven't done it. Um, just set the difficulty to peaceful because I realized I didn't do that. Uh, we're going to start off with some updates here in episode one. So we're going to grab out some ice and some diamond. Okay, so now what you're going to have is you're going to have this section here, which is like one, two, and then there's sort of three diagonals here. And then you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six ice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can just mine out these blocks here. I thought I might know something in the water, but that's fine. Okay, then you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then that goes down like this. You will have a block that goes like right here to the left of that, and then you'll have one right there to the left. So that makes two. Destroy these two going up like this. Okay, then you want to essentially break that block there, and then this one over here. And then we're going to bring this down one, two, three. So that level should be four. Okay, now that's basically that eye shape done. So for the one over right by here, um, I was going to say the one over right over here. I'm just flying over to it on the reference. Okay, so where we have this section of two here, this is how it's going to go. So we're going to have one, uh, yeah, one, and then it's going to go one, two, three. So this is one, two, three. And then we have one, two. So this is going to be, of course, one, two, and then we have one, two, three, wait, uh, yeah, three again. So this is going to be one, two, three, and then up two like this, and then it's going to be one, two, three across. Uh, so obviously this is four, so we can just place a block here. Um, this one here is going to be a one block up here, and then this up here is one, two, three. So let's do this. So one, two, and then the third one there should be an ice that's already there. I'll place three like this right over here. And then we have a one diagonal and then one, two, three, four. That's all correct. And then it should go down. Then there'll be like, and then just get rid of that one there. Uh, and then, yeah, I think, yeah, get rid of this one as well. And I do believe that that is it for that ice right there. Charles, if you want to break the diamond, that would be incredibly useful, just so I can move on to the next things. So if you're at spawn, coming back over here, we're going to break out these two uh, sand blocks here. Uh, if you're on bedrock, just be sure that you break the snow, because there's not supposed to be snow on any of those blocks. And then as for up here, we're going to come to where... Um, okay, so... Just for people who aren't like good at paying attention to the terrain over here, I'll quickly mark this out where it goes. So where you have like this one, you have like one one, and then this section of two here, it's this one here, you break out these two blocks, and then just do yourself a favor and replace them with grass. Okay, now down for this section over here, we're gonna have one ice update right there, so literally like where there was three, just place one in the middle there. And then right over here, we're gonna break out this one, and then there should be one if that sheep wasn't blocking it. So yeah, that is literally how it is. We are now going to move over to some of the ice and stuff that's over here. So first off, okay, so we have this ice over here. This block over here is just gone. And these two over here are also gone. Okay, let me just quickly give it a flight on my reference just so I know exactly where I'm going. Okay, perfect. So let me get out my diamond blocks again just so I can be sure that I'm in the right spots and stuff. Okay. So this ice, it's not really tricky, but it's, it already kind of lines up. So where, where we have this like two by two section of water, we're going to have two like this and then one sticking out, break one in there. I'm going to get some water just because I think some of this might start streaming in some of the locations. Uh, one there, then you're going to have two. Oh, lag. Then it's going to be one, two, three, four. Then it's going to be one down like this. And then you can just actually uh, yeah, just tear out what I've just destroyed. There's going to be a one more block of ice that's going to go right here, which you're going to place. Obviously, just place the diamond on if you're trying to measure this the way I am, just for ease. And then break that block there, what I've just broken. And instead, place an ice right by it. So essentially, you'll have like it goes like down, 
uh, one, two, and then goes back up one, two. And then in this block here, we're going to break out these two, one to the left and one back. And I'm just going to quickly like fill these blocks in with water just to ensure that everything is okay with that. And then of course, uh, well not of course, but then just to finalize that, fill in that block there. And that is all of the um, ice updates for that ice patch. As for this one over here, let's see now, let's see, okay. So this one is kind of simple. So where we have this like one, so it's like uh, one, two, one, right actually, is that, yeah. Uh, okay, actually the best way to do it, I would say just chop out every, like those three blocks, like everything on this like kind of side. So we have like one, two, then we're gonna break one in there and place water. Then there's gonna be two broken out on these sides and there's gonna be just one like that. And then as for this ice patch over here, so where we have two down here, we want to essentially just chop out these going up, uh, that one included. Uh, okay, then it's, so we've got the two here, then it's one, and we just place one block uh, right like that, and then one right there. Oh no, we place, hold up, something is iffy. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, right. Uh, wait, is that how it is? Okay. Hang on. Uh, okay. Let me just see. So, how long is this bit? So, one, two, three, four. So, let me just count it. One, two, three. Let me just mark it. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four. Then we have this section of two like that. That's fine because that sticks out. Then it goes one down and then one. And then that one will be broken. Then it's two blocks in the middle. And then it's got a two by two section down here. That is the shape of the ice. That's how it is. Oh, shit, I did not mean to break that block. Okay, there we go. I'll just pop that back. Uh, actually, there is one. Yeah, that's how it is. Okay, so now that the diamond's broken, there's only one ice patch left to do, which is this one. This one is kind of annoying because like some of it doesn't really like line up to how the actual thing is, so I'm just gonna mark out some coordinates. So while we're at 140, uh, 143, 246, which will be like a round, uh, 143, uh, where is it? Yeah, so this block here, where I'm standing on, I'm just gonna make sure I'm facing the right way because otherwise that's gonna be a bit of a annoyance to deal with. Okay, so this way here, if you're facing like towards the land, you need to be on 143, I've just moved off the block. 143, 246. You wanna break one to the left of this, one above and then one below. Uh, same thing for this here. Except on this side, you want to just place one extension block and then break out that one right there. It's kind of like a rude shape with like a, a thing. I'm not going to reference what that rude shape is. It's kind of like an arrow, let's put it that way. Okay, that seems to be all the ice done. Now I'm going to quickly, the next thing to do is just quickly break down these trees like this. Um, just make sure that you have uh, tar drops off. I'm going to do that because of course we're going to just get sapling drops and apples and it's not really going to be fun that way, is it? <laughs> okay. So, next thing we can do is let's do this coal vein thing here because those trees are gone. So, just break out two by two, break out in here, and then just essentially break out all the coal. I won't really tell you the specific pans, just make sure you break out only the coal and none of the. Um, the stone or anything, except there is one stone block that is destroyed and it's that one right there on the left hand side. So make sure you have like a, a kind of hole in here that looks exactly like this. If you don't, then well, what more can I tell you? Okay, let me just fly over to here on the reference because most of that I can do by memory because I've watched episode one a million times over, <laughs> which is helpful, but yeah, I just wanna make sure I'm getting everything the best I can. Okay, so over here where we have this third block, we're gonna come up uh, to the third block, like just up and then play and then destroy a snow. That would be where that crafting table would have been. And then over here, we're going to mine out six blocks of trees. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So make sure that your like um, leaves are uh, exposed on like the first sort of like level. So you only got like um, a few logs left in the tree. Uh, next, actually, I'll just pick block. Next thing we're going to do is just 
get rid of these dandelions. I don't know why they're here. It's just the seed. If you're using the same one as I am, make sure that you get rid of those because otherwise, yeah, they're not actually supposed to be there. So makes sense. <laughs> okay. So next thing we can do is start destroying some of the terrain. So if you're seeing this, okay, uh, let's see. Yeah. If you're seeing this longer section here next to those diagonals, so it's like up to here, I always do the bottom layer first. Um, it just makes it easier. We're gonna go in one, like one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, and then these two. This is where it starts to get destroyed. So in this section, it's one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Uh, and then yeah, we can basically for this next layer, we can just destroy a layer off of this. Uh, just bring it basically down to this here. Just like uh, so make sure you have like a shape like this but you're just gonna break out one of the snow bits like that and then this section this gets cleared out a little bit more um, I'll sort out all the snow updates and everything with it don't worry that's how far it gets cleared too so like where you've got the end of that diagonal okay yeah Charles nice one thank you very much okay so the snow pattern here so we have like uh, one one okay yeah so it's, uh, okay, let me just double check that. One, one, two, so one, one. And then here we just break out that snow there. And then it's uh, one like that. And then that one's also broken. So there's just one snow that's left up there like that. And thank you for replacing all that, Charles. Um, there is one snow update, which literally, there's just one that's broken out right there. So yeah, just make sure that you get that. And now we can move on to the first cave. Okay, how exciting. Right, uh, let's just see. So, of course we know the first cave goes into this uh, hill right here. So we're gonna break out these two dirts here and then the coals to the side of that. Okay, then we can just bring this down in. Only, there's only like a limited bit of coal in these sections, so that's fine, I guess. Um, and I do not have night vision. Uh, Charles, you're on the realm still, yeah. Can you, because uh, you're going to be using your keyboard, can you like give us all night vision, like using a command or um, something, I guess. Whatever's easier to do. Okay, so real quick, from what I do know in here, um, I'm going to get night vision on this version so you guys can actually see. Okay, so in here we're going to have one, two, three, and then this one is going to be the fourth one. Okay, yeah, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four blocks. Uh, one, two, three, four blocks. Okay, and then it's going to go in one like this. Uh, and then we have one, two, th oh, thank you, Charles. One, two, three. So where we've got in, this is going to be one, two, three. And then it's, uh, let me just make sure, yeah. Then it's two, so one, two. And then this is obviously going to go back in, and then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So two, three, four, five. Right oh. Nice. Okay. So then we're going to dig these two blocks down and make a sort of two by two pattern. Uh, and dig that one up of the ceiling. So the one like on the far, like fifth block. Okay, nice. Where this one is, so where we have this two by two, the second layer of this is going to go one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, like this. And then we're going to go uh, down. Yeah, so it's just going to go down. Uh, just dig it to like where the coal is, I guess. So this will be obviously dug out four. Yep. Uh, wait, hold up. Is that right? Uh... One, two, three. Actually, no, because that one's going to be stone there, isn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then here, we can essentially just dig out this, like uh, these three bits of coal, and then dig it down two like this. So if we're standing on the top block here, on like the far right, like on the back, we should have one, two, three layers of like blocks. So one, two, three. And then this bottom layer here is one, two, three, four, five. Um, so we've got two three, four, five, and they just heighten the ceiling up so it's three blocks tall. And unless I've like forgotten something tragic, which I'm just gonna check for these roof sections because I feel like 
I might have, oh, this section here just cut those three blocks out. Uh, that is basically the only thing that I actually didn't do. And it looks like we have done the first cave. Nice. Now we're not done with the episode yet. There's a couple of other like updates and um, things that we can do. One of those things being right over here. So we're gonna keep this tree in place. I just need to fly over that on the realm. Um, but essentially this tree is different and some of the snow around it is. Uh, one thing I can tell you for sure is that this tree here, we can just get rid of. This tree is not here in Stampy's world, it never has, it never will be. And this seed just coincidentally generated in with it. So just get rid of it. Um, and then we're gonna basically just put snow back where the tree went. Yep, Charles has got it. Nice, nice. Okay, now as for this area where the uh, snow is and stuff, we're going to... Oh, let me get my bearings. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna break out... Uh, are we in the right spot? No, I'm not. <laughs> Breaking that tree then, I was just like, oh, where am I? Okay, uh... Yeah, it's here, right? Yeah, here. So we're gonna break out this block here. And then we're gonna break out one, two, three, four, like this. And then we're gonna break out two diagonally to the left where the terrain is. And then there's already like one broken out from where that snow is. However, on this side, it's more like one and then break out those two there. And then just break this going the whole way down to here. And then just break out the rest of that snow. Okay, now let me grab out spruce log just in case I need it. I'm also gonna grab out some diamond. And the tree here is one, two, three, four, five blocks tall. This one generated wrong, so of course, like, we're gonna have to fix it, and that's fine. So then we're gonna start out by doing a layer of two blocks going around the tree, just like this. Okay. One, two, three. And then here, it's gonna go out into a layer of three. These trees are really weird, I know. I, I didn't design this game, okay? <laughs> Well, this world even. Um, yeah, so it just goes out into like a layer of three. These trees were quite common in the older updates, I've noticed. Um, but yeah, I guess that's like a side note right there. Um, yeah, and then we can stick five on like that. Then there's another layer of two here. So you can basically, if you've got this tree exactly like how I have it, just basically bring like, bring like a ring around it, like how I'm doing it. And then coincidentally, Unless there's like less logs in the tree, which I don't think that is. I think we actually have the right amount of logs. I think that should be all good. Actually, I'll just break into the tree. I can put another copy on the realm anyway. So one, two, okay. So the logs of this tree, which I think they're right. Yeah, they, they are right anyway. Um, we can just place two blocks on top of that. And then just, yeah, cover this top section in with snow. So the actual tree, stump generates in the correct height which is interesting it's just like the the leaf details itself which is something i never even realized or considered before okay now for the last couple of updates we have to do so one of them being right over let's see right over here uh we have a couple so first of all we want to replace one of these. I know it's going to be destroyed in episode two, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We have a, a, a rose, technically a poppy now, right there. And then over this way, like basically where I am. Um, yes, okay. Right, let me just make sure I'm lining this up with the terrain. Okay, so if you're at this section here where the terrain's like going back in this section, we're going to have some dandelions, which we don't have on the seed. So one of them is right here. And then one of them is also, so like diagonal one and then to the right one that lines up there. And I think that is all of the dandelions around here, which is nice. So I think, unless like Charles teleports me to like something I've missed. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm, I'm, thank you, Charles. This is why like I'm forgetful and you're observant. <laughs> Okay, right, let me just fly over that. So I, I, I was literally like thinking, I thought there was something like over here and I was here, but I just obviously completely forgot in commentary. Okay, so we're gonna place a water there and then um, that there's only one piece of ice right there. And then as for this ice right here, there's only one uh, right there. So just place water under the one to the right of it. All right, 
thank you very much, Charles. I would have forgotten that, and I would have been like, oh, I'm going to have to update that in a future episode where it's probably already there, because, like, Stampy hasn't seen it. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, let's end on, like, the tree up here for Harriet Hill. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you very much to Charles for spending his uh, time out of his day and helping with this. It's been much appreciated. Thank you as well for you guys for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one, where we'll be building the first house that Stampy built, as well as a bunch of updates around that area, and I'm probably going to forget a couple because they're very obscure. So, yeah, um, bye, guys.